Welcome to Life Words Day by Day. In 1 Corinthians chapter 4, Paul refers to himself and Apollos as servants of Christ. What is a servant? Well, Paul uses a different word for servant here than he did back in chapter 3, verse 5. Back in chapter 3, verse 5, the word was diakonos, from where we get our word deacon. And that word simply means to be a server or a farmhand or a busboy. But in chapter 4, verse 1, the word means an under rower. And it was originally used of men who sat in the underbelly of a ship and rowed the ship. In Paul's day, it became become just a general term to refer to anyone who served under someone else. We see this word most often in the Gospels where it's translated as a temple guard or an official. In other words, someone who answers to and does the bidding of a higher up authority. So Paul's higher up authority is Christ. The pastor's higher up authority is Christ. His aim is to please Christ at all costs, not to please the church at all costs. Pastors are to first and foremost always be in service to Christ. If I'm not in service to Christ, then I'm of no true service to the church. And if this gets out of order, then the pastor opens up himself to being led astray, to being manipulated, or to being people-pleasing. So pastors, remember, your first priority is to serve Christ. As you pray today, please remember Doug Lee and his family, our missionaries in the Philippines. And also remember the Moray Life Word broadcast that's heard throughout Burkina Faso and Ghana.